Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to update the firmware on your Xbox controller on a Windows PC. It's really quite simple to do, whether you have Windows 10 or 11, it'll work on both operating systems. The only thing you're gonna need is a USB-C cable to get rolling. So let's go ahead and jump over to my desktop and get right into updating the firmware. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop. If you're using Windows 10, the process should be nearly identical. Just the Windows buttons might be in a slightly different spot. The first thing we need to do is go to the Microsoft Store. So I'm gonna click on my magnifying glass here at the bottom in my taskbar, and we're gonna search for the Microsoft Store. You just need to start typing it, and it should come up under Best Match here. You can go ahead and left click on that and load up the Microsoft Store. So once the Microsoft Store is loaded up, we can search for the app that we're looking for today here at the top. And the app we're looking for is the Xbox Accessories app. And once you've typed that in and done a search, it should be the first one that comes up here. It says Xbox Accessories. It's a Microsoft Corporation app. It's got a little green icon here with part of a controller. Let's go ahead and click on the install button here and install that on our computer. So you can see it's starting to download and it's installing it. And once that's done, you can go ahead and click on open here and, and launch the app. If you're not seeing that, you can go down to your start menu at the bottom, go to all apps, and you should find it under the letter X here in your programs, right there, Xbox accessories. Let's go ahead and open up that app. Now, once that's opened up, it's gonna look something like this, and you do need to connect your Xbox controller to your computer. And if you're not sure how to do that, you can click on the help button here, or I've created a video on how to do that. I'll have that linked at the end and in the description below for you to easily find. For myself, what I need to do is go ahead and turn on my controller. So I'm gonna push the button here because I've already connected it to my PC. It's gonna find my controller there. Now it does say this controller is connected via Bluetooth, connect it, with a USB cable to configure. So I've got my USB-C that I'm gonna plug in the top here, which is connected to my computer. We're just gonna go ahead and plug that in just like that. And it's gonna recognize that device right away. And because this controller needs an update, it's gonna say update required. So we're gonna just go ahead and click on update required. And it says, before we start, we're about to update your controller, keep it near, do not move it during the update and keep any attached devices connected to your controller. Make sure that the USB cable is firmly plugged in. So if that's the case, you can go ahead and click continue and it's gonna start updating your controller. It says controller updating is in progress. Don't move the controller and make sure the USB cable and any connected devices stay firmly attached. It's applying the update right now. You can see it's at 8% and I'll come right back to you when it's complete. All right, so the firmware update is complete. We can go ahead and hit next here and it's gonna take us right into where we can configure our controller. If we do wanna configure it, we can do that sort of thing in here as well. Or if you did go ahead and click on these three dots right here under configure, this is where you'd be able to see if an update is available as well. It says no update available, but you could manually update from here as well. So it's really that simple to update your Xbox controller's firmware here on a Windows PC. So hope this video was able to help you out in updating the firmware on your Xbox controller on a Windows PC. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Click that bell notification so you're notified of any upcoming videos. I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.